if i want to draw a line if i want to draw a line minimum two parameters are required now we start condition if two lines are parallel then their slopes are equal if two lines are perpendicular then the product of slopes is minus 1 formula is what y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 when they give line joining points we can use the formula for slope of line joining for two cross multiply 2 is equal to k minus 4 or k is equal to 2 plus 4 and you'll get k value as what 6 Welcome to the session dear students today i'll start a new chapter in geometry that is straight lines see straight lines first if i want to draw a line if i want to draw a line minimum two parameters are required one you should know if i if you know two points suppose if i want a line between ac this is the line or if i want a line between ab this is the line So two points minimum required. Or if I tell a line which makes forty-five degrees with x-axis, this is x-axis. This is the line which makes forty-five degrees. So means if you know two parameters, you can draw a line. The first parameter to draw a line is slope. So now what I am discussing is slope of a line. So very first condition what I am discussing is slope of a line. What is meant by slope of a line? So if you take any line, suppose this is. x axis and this is y axis let me draw a line so line is making an angle theta with x axis and if you want to find slope of the line just find slope of the line by using the formula m is equal to tan theta slope of the line is what tangent of angle made by the line with x axis why we should take only tan theta why can't we take sin theta so now suppose see this is your line called ab For this line AB, I'll draw perpendicular. I am drawing a perpendicular AM. See the bent of the line. Slope means the bent. How much it is bent decides decided by this height and this the base. So this is opposite side and this is adjacent side. So more is the height, more will be the slope, and more is the adjacent, less will be the slope. The bent will be less. So therefore. This opposite and adjacent are linked by tan theta. What is tangent? Tan theta, all of you know. Tan means what? Opposite by adjacent. That's why we define slope like that. I hope all of you understood why slope is slope for why for slope we are using tan theta. Now, other than that, so now first, if you know what is the definition of slope, that is more than enough. So now, AB is a line. That line makes an angle theta with x-axis. Then slope of the line is tan theta. M is called a slope. So here m is what slope. The first formula of the chapter, and theta. What is theta? Theta is the angle made by the line with x-axis. Axis made by the line with x-axis. M is the slope. Theta is the angle made by the line with x-axis. M is equal to tan theta. Is the definition of slope. So tangent of angle made by the line with x-axis is called a slope. Define slope means what you'll write. That is what slope is. What tangent of angle made by the line made by the line with x-axis line with x-axis is slope. So dear students, if I give two line joining points, you can find slope. Suppose if I give one point as a x one y one and other point I'll give b x two y two. For these two line joining points, you can find slope. See, simple. What we do is we'll draw perpendicular. I'll draw a m perpendicular to b m. I'll draw a m perpendicular to b m. So now from triangle. From this triangle, A B M. If you take this is theta. What is tan theta? Tan theta is what opposite side by adjacent B M divided by A M. So means here this length. If you draw x axis and y axis, this is your x axis. This is your y axis. X one. This is x one. This length is x two. And this length is y1 and this length is y2 and bm is y2 minus y1 and am is x2 minus x1 so now slope is what 
tangent of angle made by the line with x-axis. If this is theta and if I produce this is these two are parallel x-axis and this base are parallel. So therefore tan theta is the slope and bm what is bm y2 minus y1 and am x2 minus x1. This is the formula for slope when we give line joining points. Dear students, you can find slope when you know the angle made by the line with x-axis. Similarly, you can also find the slope if you know end points. If one point of line joining is x1, y1, other point of line joining is x2, y2, then slope m is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. To derive, we use tan theta. Tan theta means what? Slope. So tangent means opposite by adjacent. Here opposite is bm, adjacent is am. That is how we'll get. Suppose if I give two points, say a, 3, 1, and I'll give B 4 comma 5. So what is slope of line joining AB? Slope of line joining AB is what? Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. So one coordinate will take X1, Y1. The other coordinate will take X2, Y2. Y2 minus Y1 means 5 minus 1. X2 minus X1, 4 minus 3. 5 minus 1 is, <coughs> sorry, 4 by, we'll get the value, 4 by 1. So 4 by 1 is 4. This is the slope. How far of you understood this? Now we have conditions. So dear students, so now you know how to find slope. Now let me go for conditions. So condition number one, condition number one, if two lines are parallel, if two lines are parallel, slopes are equal. If two lines are parallel, they make same angle with x-axis. So therefore their slopes are equal. If two lines are parallel, then slopes are equal, then their slopes are equal. And their slopes are equal. Means, if you take any two lines which are parallel, they'll make same line, same angle with x-axis. If this is m1, this is m2. So then m1 will be equal to what? m2. If two lines are parallel, then their slopes are what? Equal. Second case is, if two lines are perpendicular. If two lines are perpendicular, two lines are perpendicular, then product of slopes is minus 1. m1 into m2 gives you minus 1. So these are the two important conditions. Now, in introduction, I taught you what is slope of a line. Tangent of angle made by the line with x-axis is slope. Theta is called as angle made by the line with x-axis. m is slope. And then I told you slope of line joining points. y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Now I taught condition. If two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. If two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. Next, exercise 17.1. Find the slope of line joining points. So the of line joining points, you need to find slope. So how to find slope of line joining points? Formula is what? Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. When they give line joining points, we can use the formula for slope of line joining points. What is slope of line joining points? Difference of Y coordinate by difference of X coordinate. Now going ahead. So first problem, 3, 2, minus 1, 5. So first point, I call it as x1, y1. Second point, I call it as x2, y2. So now two points are given. Now slope formula, what is slope? m is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So what is y2 minus y1? 5 minus 2 divided by minus 1 minus 3. 5 minus 2 is 3 and minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. The slope is minus 3 by 4. So you got the value of slope that is minus 3 by 4. How far of you got this? How to find slope? Difference of y coordinate by difference of x coordinate. Similarly, the second problem x1, y1 they gave, x2, y2 they gave. So use the same format that is slope of line joining points. They want what is slope of line joining points? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. That is 2 minus 0 divided by 0 minus 2. 2 minus 0 is 2 by minus 2, it will be minus 1. So slope you got m is equal to what? Minus 1. In first case, 5 minus 2 divided by minus 1 minus 3 gives you uh, 3 by minus 4 or minus 3 by 4. Second case, minus 1. Then find the slope of line, sorry, if the slope of line joining 3 comma a and 4 comma 3 is 7 by 2, find a. They gave slope. They want you to find the unknown. See, as usual, so 3 comma a, we call it as first coordinate pair, we call it as x1, y1, and the second point, we call it as x2, y2, and m is given, what is m? That is 7 by 2. 
So equate it. All of you know the formula for m. m is what? y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So that is 7 by 2 is equal to 3 minus a divided by 4 minus 3. Further, if you simplify, you have 7 by 2 is equal to 3 minus a divided by 4 minus 3 is 1. Cross multiply, 7 into 1 is equal to 2 into 3 minus a. Further, simplify, 7 ones are 7, 2 threes are 6 minus 2a. So, bring 2a to this set. So, 2a comes here, 6 minus 7. So, 2a is equal to minus 1 and a is minus 1 by 2. They want you to find a, we got the a value. I use the formula for slope. What is slope of line joining points? All of you know slope of line joining points is what? m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Here y2 is 3, y1 is a, 3 minus a. x2 is 4, x1 is 3, 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. So 7 by 2 is 3 minus a. Transfer 2 to this side, 6 minus 2a. Minus 2a, bring this side. Then you will get minus 1 by 2. Next, if the line joining points... 6, 4 and 8, comma k makes an angle 45 degrees with x axis, find k. See, they told line makes an angle 45 degrees. You can find slope. So now from the given data, they give theta. Theta is 45 degrees. And also they give line joining point 6, 4 and 8, k. So means they give x1, y1 as well as x2, y2. So from both you can find slope. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 is one formula. And same m you can find using tan theta. So in spite of m, so now m also you can find. How to find m? m is what? Tan theta. What is theta? 45. m is tan 45 degrees. So m is what? 1. So now you got m value 1. So now substitute. What is the slope of line joining points? m is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Now further, m value is 1, y2 minus y1 means what? k minus 4 divided by 8 minus 6. So 1 is equal to k minus 4 divided by 2, cross multiply, 2 is equal to k minus 4, or k is equal to 2 plus 4, and you will get k value as what? 6. So m is tan theta, tan 45 is 1, so k minus 4 divided by 8 minus 6, that is 2. So I hope all of you got how to find the slope. Next, further. Find the slope of lines with the following inclinations. So theta, 45 degrees. So inclination means, remember, the word inclination means angle made by the line with x-axis. Means they have theta. So find slope. Slope means tan theta. First theta is given as pi by 4. All of you know pi by 4 means 180 degrees divided by 4. That is 45 degrees. So now they want slope. So slope formula is what? m is equal to tan theta. That is m is equal to tan 45. What is tan 45? 1. So you got m. m is what? 1. Further, theta is given 60 degrees. Again, they want you to find slope. m is tan 60. Tan 60 degrees. That is tan 60, all of you know, root 3. m is root 3. Slope of the line is root 3. Then further, they give pi by 2. So theta inclination means angle made by the line with x-axis. Pi by 2. Pi by 2 means what? 180 by 2. 1 by 2 by means what? 90 degrees. So tan theta, tan theta is what? Tan 90. This is slope. Slope m tan 90 degrees. Tan 90 degrees is not defined. So uh, slope is not defined. So we can say infinity tan 90. So not defined. Slope is not defined when it makes 90 degrees. Means infinite slope it has. If the slope of line AB is 3 by 2 and the slope of line CD is perpendicular, sorry, line CD is perpendicular to AB, find slope of CD. So they told two lines. One is AB and the other one is CD. And they told one line AB is having a slope 3 by 2. I call it as M1. And CD, I call it as M2. M2 is a question mark. So they gave given AB is perpendicular to CD. I told in the beginning if two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. What is the condition? If two lines are perpendicular, product of slopes is minus 1. So I can take this slope of AB into slope of CD, you can write it as minus 1. Why? Because they are perpendicular. Slope of AB M1, slope of CD M2 is minus 1. M1 we know 3 by 2. 3 by 2 into M2 is minus 1. M2 is equal to minus 1 into 2 by 3. Simplify, it will become minus 2 by 3. Therefore, M2 is minus 2 by 3. This is the slope of, so finally we will write the conclusion. What is the conclusion? Therefore, slope of CD is equal to minus 2 by 3. I hope all of you got this.
So, dear students, so before we go to any problems or any forms of straight lines, first you should be thorough with the slope. What is slope? Tangent of angle made by the line with x-axis. M is tan theta. Theta means angle made by the line with x-axis. And we call we can also call it as inclination. Letter M stands for slope. And if they give end points or if they give line joining points, you can find slope using the formula M is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And two conditions. If two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. If two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. So if you are thorough with these concepts, then next session you can understand better. So please sit and revise them. I'll see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.